Hi guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a business card using Canva. So if you've never heard of Canva before, it is a free online editing program and you just go to canva.com to get there. It does have a paid for version, but I'm going to show you how to use the free version today. So it will ask you to create an account and once you've done that, it will take you into a place like this. I'm going to show you how to make a business card. Over here, it will have some recommended templates for you. So you can hit business card here, or you could search business card in the search feature here. So just select business card and it will come up with a blank canvas for you to get started. Over on the left hand side, it has some pre-made templates, but today we're going to show you how to make a design from scratch. So first of all, we'll like to add some text. So I'm going to go over to this text button here and I'm going to add a heading. And I'm just going to type my name. So I'm just going to make up a, a name for a business. So Carla Santos. And I'd like to change the font. So I'm just going to highlight that here. And it has a lot of free fonts that you can use that are already uploaded onto Canva. The ones with the crown are paid for features. So I'm going to show you a nice font that is a free one and it's called Jonathan and here you can see that it's just changed the font to that over there and I'd like to make it a bit bigger I'm going to make that 40 okay click out of that and you can just move this around your canvas and the handy thing is it'll have these pink guides that will just come up and it'll just snap into place so I'm just going to center that for just now I'm going to add a smaller piece of text and this is going to be my business. So I am a pottery studio. And there's some cool things that you can do with this text over here that makes it all caps. So I'd like to make that uppercase. You also have some spacing effects. I'm just going to space that out a little bit. Letter spacing something about that. Okay, I'm going to make it smaller as well. Make it five. And another font I'm going to use here is Gilda Display. Here we are. Okay, now I do want my design to be a little bit more centered. So I'm going to move this up a little bit and then move this closer to the center. Here we've got the center lines coming in again, center guides. Okay, now I'd like to add some artwork to this. So I'm going to be using a free design kit that we've included. And if you just check the link below, you can get access to it. There are two ways that you can upload artwork to Canva. So first of all, you can go up to the uploads and here you can upload your own images. And the great thing is that when you create an account, it will save all the images that you upload. So I'm going to choose device and I'm just going to choose from our mini kit that we've got included. I'm going to paste in this pastel canvas. So just click OK, open, and it will upload into your image folder. OK, now select that and it will appear on your canvas. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and place it where I think would look quite nice. And just move it around a little. Okay, something like that. And once you're done, just hit off the side and that will place it for you. Another way to upload artwork is have your folder ready and you can simply drag and drop a design into your canvas. And again, it will upload into your image folder. So a really simple way to use it. I'm using the PNG files so that they have transparent background to them. And to rotate your image, you just use this little rotate icon at the bottom and place it to where you would like. Now, once you have your image uploaded, you do not need to place that again. So I'm just going to make this bigger again. And you can simply just click on it. And again, it will appear into your canvas, which is great. 
I'm going to rotate this round. It also has some options here at the top to crop, flip, adjust. So there's many things that you can do with it. I'd like to move this around a little. Okay, something like this. It's super simple. You just use your mouse just to select and move things around. Okay, now I think for the background it is quite a strong colour, so I'm just going to make this a little bit more transparent and there's got a transparency tool on the top right. I'm just going to bring that down just so that you can get a faint bit of texture, so maybe put it in about 60, 70 maybe, yeah. Okay, now the font I'd like to just adjust a little bit with the colours, so I'm going to click onto that and here you've got the colour picker. And the cool thing about Canva is that it will bring up some recommended colours from the images that you've pasted in. So I'm going to select this dark brown here and that can be my text. And for the Pottery Studio I think I'm going to click this dark green. I think I would like a little bit darker so if I select this colour picker I'm just going to bring this shade down a little bit. There we go. So as simple as that to create your business card. Now this is the front design and say we wanted to design the back. A really easy way to keep your settings and to make a new page is to just duplicate the page here. You can of course add a new page which will create a blank one but I'm going to duplicate it here. Right now I'm just going to delete some of these elements. You can hit delete on your keyboard to just get rid of the elements. Okay, going to delete my logo and I'm going to bring this down here and put some new text in here. So let's go for East London Studio. Great, and actually I'm going to add a phone number down here. Just make one up. And there we go, we have the front of our canvas and the back of our canvas. And both of these are made to a business card size. So it's super simple. I've just shown you a few ways to use Clipart today, but there are so many options and things that you can do with it. To finish off, you have different options within Canva. They have a really cool option to print your business card and it gives you a preview of what your business card will look like. You can get that printed off depending what country you're in. Other options are you can download your design. So if you download it, I would suggest maybe downloading it as a high quality PNG or a PDF. Then you can use these images to upload it to any company that will print business cards for you. So just a couple of little things that you want to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your main information is in the center of your design. Um, some parts may be cropped around the edges. So just be aware of that. Make sure your text is nice and clear and make sure that people know where to contact you. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe down below and download the free mini kit to go along with this. Have fun.